Let's take a live look outside for you here on this Monday. It's the final Monday of February, if you can believe it. Uh, we have kind of a hazy view here as we take a live look over the river. Uh, but storm clouds could be rolling in soon. Let's check in with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Marissa Wallace in because you've been saying the next 24 hours, 48 hours even, will be quite interesting. Yeah, we again talking warm temperatures, talking the chance for strong to severe thunderstorms as well. We'll also throw in some snow there and a big drop in our temperatures. So it's feeling like spring for this final yeah. Monday of February. Even our temperatures right now, we're in the mid to upper 40s across the region. We have a good mix of clouds and still some nice blue skies out there. And it's honestly going to be still a beautiful rest of the day. I would advise getting outside today if you can because it's just going to be nice and it'll help you prepare for what's to come over the next few days. But let's take a look at this afternoon. High temperatures will be climbing into the low 50s under partly cloudy skies. No threat for strong to severe storms throughout the rest of the day today and actually even the first part of tonight. As we take a look here in your future cast again, just a mix of some clouds and then more clouds come in as we head closer to midnight tonight, but we're still quiet across the region. No showers or thunderstorms in the area. The first round of potentially strong to severe storms will be here early in the morning on Tuesday. Best chance will be mainly after about three o'clock in the morning and you can see those thunderstorms firing on this model. This is the graph model uh, showing a chance for some strong storms as you get to again 5 a.m. and then as we move towards 7, 8 and 9 a.m. still a few more thunderstorms in the area. I do expect things to start to end mainly after eight o'clock and then we'll look at a quiet period of weather throughout a majority of the day on Tuesday. Again, so first round is roughly between about 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. As we take a look at the potential threats, a tornado threat, very low, practically non-existent, but always uh, never good to count it out completely. As you head towards a uh, hail, looking at a moderate threat for that, we could be looking at hail up to an inch in diameter. Low chance for some gusty winds in excess of 59 miles per hour or flash flooding, though we are going to see some good rain, especially under a few of those thunderstorms. But we have a better chance for even potentially stronger storms as we head into Tuesday night. You can see our tornado threat still low, but a little bit higher than very low. Hail moderate, winds moderate, as well as flash flooding. Now Tuesday night, this round of thunderstorms will be arriving a little bit sooner than the one that's on the way tonight. So as we put things into motion, we're going to start off tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll head towards about 10 o'clock. That's when we'll start to see our rain showers arriving and then really strengthen as we get that line of thunderstorms moving through. So closer to midnight tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning, we have our best chance for potentially strong two severe thunderstorms. Those continue to move through. We will eventually get to some quiet conditions, especially by Wednesday morning, morning commute, or as your kids are heading to the bus stop. But then colder air comes right behind this. Strong winds and even a chance for some snow by the end of your Wednesday. So a big change in our forecast coming. I'll have more on the winds and that chance for snow coming up in just a bit. But just again, be prepared for potentially two rounds of strong to severe thunderstorms. Crazy temperatures too. I'll have more on this up and down roller coaster of temperatures also in just a bit. Alicia. All right.